I grew up in Chicago projects watching Julia Childs cook. And I just really got a passion for good food. Food brings everyone together. Tonight, we're gonna blacken the salmon. We have a fresh spinach and arugula salad with guava and vinaigrette. For dessert, we're gonna use some fried plantains and Grand Marnier. Hey! How are you doing? Good! Good! You see what happens when you learn how to cook? Beautiful when you just drop by. Have a seat! Thank you for inviting me over. Part of seasoning the salmon, we start out with shallots. And these are going to be part of the sauce. Now we're going to put some garlic in it. Living in Seattle, we get the best salmon. I'm going to season this up. Some sea salt. Pepper. See that? Some fresh thyme. Peel it off. Sprinkle that on there. I love when you get involved. <laughs> okay, now we got a hot pan with some butter and some olive oil, and we're gonna add our garlic and our shallots. Now we're gonna do our blackened sauce. Chinese black bean sauce, you can pick this up anywhere. Balsamic vinaigrette, these two together, blacken the fish. Now I cook the salmon with the skin down. I'm gonna let that cook for about five or six minutes, then I add our blackening sauce to it. I'm originally from the Bahamas. My mother taught me Caribbean cooking. And Caribbean food is very flavorful and sexy. Now, we're gonna make a mango salad. You like mangoes? Oh yeah. I like you. Our dressing. So I've got a cup of balsamic vinaigrette, and then I've got some guava juice that's been reduced for a half hour. I'm just gonna whisk this. We've got our vinaigrette. We're gonna add our arugula. And you can toss this with your hands. You've got that blackened salmon, you've got that fresh mango salad. Now it's time for the dessert, the fried plantains. Cutting up a plantain, pretty easy. Cut the ends off. Cut it down the middle. You just go right down the side. The skin just comes right off of the plantain. Cut them thin, we're gonna fry in some butter and some brown sugar. Let's get some orange zest in the pan. Now it's time to put our plantains in. Lay them flat. These things cook real fast, so you have to watch them. Now's the kicker. Little Grand Marnier goes a long way. I was really a mama's boy growing up, so I had to learn to cook, because when she was cooking, I was always there. And being so close to my mom got me to really get in touch with what women think and what they wanted. So I brought it all together, social situations and food. And now I want to share that with the rest of the world.